Good afternoon, folks. I want to do a quick reminder of just how blind climate science can be when it comes to the sun. Page 40 in our latest book goes over the rapid forcing from solar storm impact, and by rapid, I mean nearly instantaneous, light speed, simultaneously across the globe. Despite these three papers being just a select few among dozens describing these impacts, they are left out of climate models entirely. Yesterday, we saw another one on the simultaneous ionospheric impact of these events. The more intense the solar storm, the more intense the global impact. And this is where the models fail to adequately describe the system. Whether it is from the energetic electrons forced downward during CME impact and magnetospheric compression, or the protons surging through the interplanetary magnetic fields, these impacts, their direct heating, and their influence on the global electric circuit is almost entirely ignored, certainly left out of the important models. Some of you may remember this graphic from Weatherman's Guide to the Sun. All the different ways the Sun impacts Earth's atmosphere and some of the various pathways. We actually had secondary graphics as well, like the one specifically on cloud forcing, which involves electrons, protons, and cosmic rays, which are modulated by solar activity. But to give a big picture idea of where the official science stands, while this is what the science studies have shown numerous times, do you know what's in the climate models? This, just this. This slim, ultraviolet forcing of the atmosphere and heat absorbed by particles is all we get in official climate models. No wonder they blame us for everything. Because while you are only modeling this, the actual forcing from everything else is presumed to be human caused. That's right. They detect the extra heat, don't have a way to blame the sun in their models, so the vast majority of the solar energetic input to the atmosphere is simply presumed to be from CO2 and other greenhouse impacts. Sounds silly to you? Me too. This is before you even go into the urban heat island effect, which tells them that global warming is even greater than it really is. This is without even beginning to mention that Earth's weakening magnetic field is letting in more of those particles, which are ignored anyway. Folks, I have no idea how we're going to combat the climate propaganda that's coming. It is about to get a lot worse. But knowing the truth is the first step. I'll see you in the morning for the Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.